it going Minecraft? I got a very cool tutorial for you guys today. It's uh, how to build a countdown clock. Now for all you guys hunger game lovers, survival game, you know those multiplayer games to start the game. You'll see a lot of them if you watch YouTube videos on them have countdown clocks in them. And I know a lot of people are wondering, you know, how do you build that? That's really cool. How do you make something that goes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Like what, what would you do to do that? that and you know what? I'm going to show you right now. It's very cool. I've uh, seen a couple different tutorials on this. This is my own personal build um, of the clock. And uh, it's, I'm sorry I don't have a, to show you it around here. It's, uh, I've actually only built it on the Xbox 360. I haven't built it on PC yet, but uh, I'm using all the same items that I'm using on the uh, Xbox 360. And uh, just that, that should tell you guys right there if you're an Xbox 360 Minecraft lover. Yes, this can be built on Xbox 360. I'm not going to use anything on here that would only be able to be used on PC, but not Xbox 360. Right now, um, I'm on the newest update, so uh, this this is a perfect clock. It's not as nearly as big as some of the Xbox 360 uh, countdown clock tutorials. This, I've, this is a lot more condensed. Uh, I have this on my Xbox 360 Hunger Games Mac, and I was able to fit it in a very small spot. And uh, it, it's a perfect clock for any type of survival Hunger Games map. Now this tutorial is very long. It's probably going to take me a while to do it. So uh, it's going to be cut down into two, possibly three uh, videos. So, um, but what we're going to start with right now is we're going to build, in the first video here, is we're going to build the memory array. Now this thing is pretty much the thing that's holding the numbers for the countdown clock. And uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our pistons. And we're just gonna place them, pick somewhere, wherever you're gonna build it, and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then uh, go ahead and grab a color of your choice. I'm gonna use blue, and just go one, two, three, and four. Cut these three out, and then just come over here and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Grab your pistons again, and pop them up there. One two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now something you can do right here that will uh, help you a lot. Um, you know, if you're thinking you're getting this mixed up a little bit, go ahead and uh, grab your wool or whatever, and you can just do this. Go one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, you know, just cut two corners out somewhere. Now this is going to be your memory array thing. So it's going to be this big. So your pistons pretty much are going to be on this thing here. So uh, just, you know, seeing that right there, you can just, you know, pop, pop that one out. So you know pistons are going to have to be, oh, actually, no, you don't need that there. Uh, pistons are going to have to be able to push this because it has to get pushed in a circle. So once you put that in there, you, you know exactly where your pistons have to go. You just, you're going to pop one there because it's going to go push that way up and now it needs to push back that way and then back down. So you're going to push it right there and you're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then, uh, so now you got to push these ones down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some more wool and we're just going to pop it up. Pop it up uh, two more. Go ahead and grab that. Go down a little bit. Grab our pistons and then pop down just like that. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Alright, alright, now we can get rid of all this wool here. Alright, looks good. Alright, no one likes building in the dark, so we're gonna go ahead and skip to day real quick. Alright, daytime, uh, moving on here. Now we gotta kinda, you know, hook everything together to make these continually move. So what we're gonna do is we are going to hook this piston here with this piston up here and these pistons here with these pistons up here. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and since this is our blue side, we're gonna grab our blue wool and then we are going to, I might get Oh, sorry about that. I might get this wrong the first time. I just gotta look at it real quick. I'm pretty sure it's right here. It's gonna be uh, 
Oh, nope, sweet, got, got it first try. Uh, sometimes I messed up on that. Go ahead and uh, throw our wool up here so we know this is our blue side. Grab our redstone and... Grab a repeater. Redstone, redstone. Peter. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that's hooked up. All right. Uh, we can go ahead and grab a torch real quick just to make sure it's hooked up. And yep, all hooked up, all as well. And all right. Now we're gonna come over here. This will be our, we'll say, our, make this our pink wool. And uh, what we're going to do here is just going to come up and up, 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 and then just Alright, uh, we gotta go ahead and get rid of our excess wool. Let's go ahead and do it on both sides. Alright, uh, grab our repeaters. Come over here, we're gonna do it on the inside here. Now this one's gonna go all the way across right there. Um, we gotta hook them all together. Our redstone torch and make sure it works. All right, perfect. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, make our honestly, I can't tell you what it's called, but it's gonna make sure so they're gonna go back and forth and to uh, twist this in a circle. And uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our repeaters real quick, we're gonna put one there, and we're gonna put one there. And then we're going to grab our redstone, put one there, and put one there. And then uh, redstone there. Repeater there. Torches. And a uh, sticky piston. A black block. Three, one, two, three. You're gonna want that clipped all the way. Um, boom, 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 and one more black box. That's what it's gonna look like. All right, we're just gonna come over here and uh, let's grab a lever real quick. Put that there, and click. There we go. All right. Actually, let's just destroy that box because we don't we don't want any of them activated right now. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Um, next, we're going to put our uh, first line of stuffing. I guess you can call it. this. Is going to be our actual memory in here. But we're just going to go one, two. Three. Just come, on. come across here. And go up. So you can even just fill it in here too. Oh. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our black wool. 
Sorry about that, YouTube. I didn't even know, notice my uh, my video stopped recording for uh, a solid minute there. Uh, pretty much what I did while it wasn't recording was uh, I just filled in just uh, two black blocks right here, and then you just put repeaters facing that way, all the way across, no ticks, or just one at one tick. Um, redstone here, and a torch at the end so it doesn't hook there. Now what I had to do was I forgot to put this uh, one block out, so I just had to do that real quick, because if not, these redstone will touch, and we don't want that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done since it turned off. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here, and uh, now we're just going to um, fill this in with green. So we're gonna grab our black block back out, and um, it's pretty much gonna be just like this. All right, and then um, actually let's get rid of that because we're gonna have to do something real quick. Let's come back over here. Uh, grab your repeaters. Sorry, like I said, I don't have something to look at over here. Um, so, I gotta do this by memory. Alright, yeah, there we go. And then this one's gonna come up. Ah, perfect, here we go. Alright, and then you're just gonna come over here, lift up, and you're gonna go ahead and uh, grab your repeaters. You're just gonna pop one there. There, pop one there, and pop one there. And then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop one there, 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 come up, and come back down, put that there, 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 and there. Alright, perfect. Now, what this is doing is this is gonna be sending the signal over to the clock. And then what we're going to do right here is we're just going to go ahead and fill this in. See, as you can see, it's sending the current into that, those uh, blocks there, which will actually send it to the clock. And we're going to be putting glass there when we don't want the current to get sent through. And this thing is going to be holding the, uh, the whole memory of what number is going where. Trust me, once it's, once it's done being built, you understand it a lot more. Well, we gotta get rid of a corner anyway. So just go ahead and get rid of a corner. Um, one bottom corner and one top corner diagonal from each other. So I'm gonna do this corner here, which means I'm gonna do this corner over here. Now what this is doing is if you don't do this, blocks are gonna get pushed off, like out, into the open, and we don't want that. So this pretty much just keeps the blocks don't get pushed. At the same time, we still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we still got 10 numbers we can put in there, even though we're taking off those two blocks now. So we, we only need 10 numbers. We're only counting down from 9 to 0. Um, so, yep, this is it. This is the memory ray. Uh, there's going to be some glass we're going to put in there, but we're not going to put that in there until we uh, get the clock. This is uh, video 1 of the tutorial of the countdown clock. Go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll get video 2 out there uh, here pretty quickly. Uh, thanks, YouTube.